Now's the time for stepping out of place Get up on your feet and give account of your faith Pray to God or something Or whatever you do What I see can make me stop and stare But who am I to judge the color of your hair? Surely y'all are feeling much the same as I do Cause we've got to keep this world together Gotta keep it moving straight Love like we mean forever So the people can relate If you're rolling to your left Don't forget I'm all Yeah, thinking of the troubles of today Is it easier to put that gun away? Or is it difficult to stop the world and show that you care? Cause everything and everyone we know is beautiful Surely you will be the guiding light to save us all Maybe we can be the vision of a perfect man's dream this world together Gotta keep it moving straight A love like we mean forever So the people can relate If you're rolling to your left Don't forget I'm on the right Trust and forgive each other something for you we've got to keep this world together gotta keep it moving straight love like we mean forever so the people can relate if you're rolling to your left don't forget i'm on the right and trust and forgive each other Little love and we're just fine, just fine We gotta keep this world together Gotta keep it moving straight A love like we need each other So the people can relate If you're rolling to your left Don't forget I'm all Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I will be your host for the evening, and on behalf of our artists, I'd like to thank you all for accepting the invitation to be here tonight. Please, feel free to browse as long as you'd like. I think you'll find something you enjoy in all of these works. Man, I can't remember the last time I went to an art show. Oh, last time for me was never. Worst class I ever had to take was art history. <laughs> It was more the teacher than the class. I mean, this guy would just drone on and on and on about the Impressionists and how brilliant they were. To me, it always looked like they were drunk. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Is it that hard to paint and focus? Well, if you hate art so much, why'd you decide to meet me here? Well, I was going to say no, but uh, there's this one guy, and his, uh, 
don't know, his paintings were something else, and there's something about them. They just kind of, you know, crawled up inside my head, if you know what I mean. I do, I do. Yeah, so anyway, I decided to come check this out. So what do you think? Anything crawling around in your head yet? I'll let you know. Oh, crap. What? I cannot believe it. Um, Maggie's here. Um, she's my ex. I didn't know you were ever married. I, um, I don't talk about it much. I really screwed it up. You're drinking? Mm-hmm. Hey, come on, don't look so down. It happens to a lot of people. You're doing great now. It's just hard to see her. It reminds me of everything I had to give up. Switch with me. I what? Switch with me. I just don't want to see her. You're crazy. What did you do that was so wrong? Don't be so hard on yourself, Philip. You don't understand. It was, it was really bad. Yeah, but giving yourself a big guilt trip's not going to do anything but bring you down. It's not a guilt trip. I know I messed up. What I did was wrong. God, why couldn't I pull it together? Hey, sometimes things go wrong. It's just a part of life. I suppose. There's no supposing about it. It's a psychological fact. Blaming yourself or praying for some magical intervention, well, that is all just a waste of time. So you're saying prayer can't make a difference? Sure, 
you don't get answers that way. I don't know why more people don't figure that out. <laughs> I mean, look at this poor guy, huh? What's he waiting for? A giant finger to come out of the sky and point his way? He's going to be waiting a very long time. You're, you're surprising me, Steve. I didn't take you for the atheist type. Just a realist. People would get a lot further if they stopped looking up and started focusing a little bit more right here. So you're saying there's no guidance, that God doesn't have a plan? A plan? If he does, he sure stays quiet about it, don't you think? I mean, I've never heard any voices come out of the sky to help me out. Well, have you ever really listened for one? Yeah, I listened. No, man, we're on our own. So you're saying that God doesn't have an active part in our lives? I'm saying God is not there at all. <laughs> well, then tell me something, Steve. What? Why are you so upset with somebody you don't even believe exists?
So what's this one supposed to be? I think you get to interpret it however you'd like. Kind of looks like broken glass, shards everywhere. It reminds me of how life really is broken. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I do like the way the artist used color. Ooh, my sister, the great art student. That was a long time ago. Oh, yeah. This is your 10-year reunion, isn't it? Are you feeling okay? Do you need to sit back down? <laughs> hey, I am only three years older than you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still in my 20s. My life isn't over yet. Life does not end at 30. How about 32? <laughs> I would not be talking, Mr. 29. <laughs> Whatever. So are you going to this reunion or what? I'm not sure. Mom thinks I should. Why? Oh, she thinks maybe I'll see an old boyfriend or two. I think she's hinting for grandkids. You see, this is why it's nice to be the baby of the family. No pressure to reproduce. Plus, I'm not old and decrepit. When you lay off, I'm starting to regret inviting you. Speaking of which, I don't see any of the hot chicks you said would surely be hanging around an art gallery on a Saturday night. Okay, okay. Well, how about her? Mm. Yeah, she's kind of cute. Hey, wait a second. Aren't you still seeing Rachel? Sure. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing her later tonight. And does she know you're here, scoping out other women? Don't be so preachy. She knows we're not anything serious. We're just, just having a little fun. Yeah, right. Hey, just because you're serious about everything doesn't mean I have to be. I'm actually trying to enjoy my life. I cannot argue with that. Come on. Life is too hard for me not to get what I want. Like what? Like, I am seriously looking forward to being with Rachel tonight. And a long, lazy Sunday. There's no telling when we'll even get out of bed. Please, stop. It's just how I get by. So crazy little 
Can I offer you something? No, thanks, man. I'm good. You look thirsty. I'm good, okay? I'll have a drink, please. Certainly, miss. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, yes. I love art. I used to paint, um, and this is beautiful work. It's very good. Your work is good. How would you know? Oh, I know things about people. I can tell by the way that you take all this in that you have the soul of an artist. Enjoy. You too, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, he is really reaching for tips, isn't he? Jeez. You know, I, I don't get it. You, you seem a lot happier. I, I, was, I was really worried about you there for a while. Really? Well, when, when Mark and... Oh. Mark, yeah. I almost didn't make it through all that. Took everything I had just to get out of bed in the mornings. I really started to wonder if it was worth it. Are you serious? I didn't, I didn't know it was that bad. You're all right now, though, aren't you? Believe it or not, I am. It's funny. When Mom used to take us to church as kids, I didn't get a lot out of it. I'm not sure she did either, really. She probably did it because she felt she needed to. But then when everything went so wrong and I, I just hit bottom, I started thinking about God, thinking maybe he was trying to get my attention. All of a sudden, that church stuff started making sense to me. Really? Really. I didn't think I could move on. But with God, I did.
You know, to me, it doesn't look like broken glass. It looks like sunlight, like hope is finally coming through. Does that mean that you're going to start to paint again? I already have. I finished a new work last week. <laughs> Do you like it? Makes me think of my ex-husband. So you don't like it? <laughs> no, I do. It looks like the flower is just about to bloom right out of this twisted mess. Kind of like my life. The thing is, he's, he's here tonight. I saw him. That's Philip right over there. Hmm. Brought some things back. What things? If you don't mind me asking. It's stupid, really. It, it's nothing. Never mind. No, no. Please, tell me. Well... There was this field of wild flowers right by his house when we were first dating. We used to walk through it and hold hands, and we would talk for hours. We were really happy. Why am I telling you this? Ugh, I can't believe I'm standing here telling my life story to a stranger. Oh, I've never met a stranger. And I've been told that I'm a pretty good listener. Actually, it happens to me all the time. Cheese cube? <laughs> Thanks. Please, have a seat. So what happened? Well, he thinks it was his drinking. But there was more to it than that. We really loved each other, but we let it just slip away. That's the saddest part, I guess. I'm so sorry. Anyway, it was gone before our daughter was born. I don't guess he knows what he's missing. She's pretty amazing. He's not a part of her life at all. No. I tried to make him part of our lives for a long time. I, I was so mad when he wasn't there, but I was even madder when he was. Finally, I let go. Let go? It, it's been really hard, the single mom thing. I would wake up shaking sometimes. I was so scared I couldn't make it through the day. The only thing that helped was imagining all these horrible things happening to Philip. Like what? You know the bulls over in Spain? <laughs> you imagine him being chased by bulls. Not chased so much as caught. <laughs> Ouch. Or. There's more. Maybe being run over by a cement mixer and then bursting into flames. Wow. It really helped. <laughs> I just wanted him to hurt as bad as I did. It did help for a while. What changed? I realized all that hate that I felt for him was, was starting to hurt me. I'll bet that surprised you. Yeah, it did. So what then? It'll sound stupid. Try me. I got mad at God. Crazy, huh? But when there's no one else to blame, where do you turn to? <laughs> I was so mad because after all I had been through, he wouldn't even let me enjoy Philip's pain. But I finally realized that the more anger I felt toward God, the more, the more I got back this sense of... Forgiveness. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure that out. God understood all my anger, all my mistakes, and he forgave me just like that. Just like that. And the sun's creeping up Baby's in the backseat Still fast asleep Dreaming of better days I don't want to call you But you're all I have to turn to What do you say When it's all gone No matter how hard you resisted, 
Trent, have you seen the artist? I'd really like to meet him. What, is he here? Well, he must be somewhere. Funny, normally they're the center of attention. You just have to look into the middle of the adoring crowd. But I wonder where he is. Well, no offense, but I don't want to hang around and hunt for a reclusive artist. Besides, I, I told Rachel I'd pick her up at 8.30. Is it okay if we go now? I don't know. I'd really like to meet this one. Why don't you go on ahead? Are you sure? Yeah, I'll look around some more. It's good inspiration. All right. Uh, I'll see you later. Hey, Trent. I love you, little brother. I know. Good night. I get this one. It looks like my life. Like it's just about to bloom. And then it all just melts away. Why am I still here wasting space? Ugly, dim. It's just like what they said about me. I remember sitting in the bathroom. The tile was so cold. I would sit there for hours. I was so hungry. And I would dream about someone coming to my rescue, someone coming to just sweep me away. 
but they never came. I must have been invisible. <laughs> yeah, I was right. I'm still invisible. Can I help you, miss? What? 
Can I help you? Oh, no, I don't want anything. No. Can I help you? Do you want to talk about it? Talk about it? Talk about what? Whatever it is that you saw in that. It might help. It's too late for help. I'm a good listener. I, I don't think so. I, I gotta go. Hey, I just... No! No. Just leave me alone. I'll be here. Phew. What a day. Yeah. You working on your house tomorrow? Never-ending project. <laughs> Tell me about it. Hey, have, um, have you seen that waiter? I'm kind of thirsty. No, I haven't. I haven't seen him in a while. So, uh, what do you think? Found a favorite yet? Anything crawling around up there? No, not really. You know, I know you didn't care much for this one, but I actually think it's my favorite. Why is that? Well, to be honest, it's, uh, kind of a picture of my life. I, I know what it feels like to be a guy stuck in a dark tunnel where life is frustrating and confusing. You don't know your way. And I remember when I was in that place. But then when I could look outside myself, you know, and see the beauty out there, it just seemed too perfect, too beautiful to be the product of chance. I, I'm sorry I never shared this with you, Steve, but the reason I put down the bottle was because I wanted to connect to the person who had the power to do that. You know, the trees, the skies, the stars. I mean, the only power I knew was the power I had inside of me, and that had this nasty little habit of messing up everything it touched. So, as corny as it sounds, I... I kind of got out of that dark place with God's help, and he began to change my life. Now, I'll be the first to tell you I got a lot of things I need to work out, and I'm by no means perfect, but when I look up like that guy, I, I know I'm not alone. safe and dry And in the midst of sailing ships we sink our limbs into the ones we love that have to say goodbye And while I float along this ocean I can feel you like an ocean that won't seem to let me go Cause when I look to the sky Find my way when you are here. And every word I didn't say, and caught up in some busy day. And every dance on the kitchen floor we didn't have before. And every sunset that we'll miss, I wrap them all. When I sail away
Must have been nice to have got religion. Well, it's, uh, I wouldn't call it religion, actually. I, uh, I found faith, and all I can tell you is that it's real. You know, it's, it's made a difference in my life. I never, uh, I never looked at it like that before. Well, I'd love to talk to you some more. You want to grab a cup of coffee before we call it a night? Nah, I think, um, I think I'm probably going to stay around here for a while. I've got some stuff I'd like to think about. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. It's great to see you. Good to see you, too. Yeah. So have to catch up again, huh? Yeah. All right. See you. Do you like this one? Actually, uh, I do. Have you seen the artist anywhere? I'd really like to meet him. He's right back there. Huh. Where? What? He was over here for the longest time, painting like the world depended on it. Well, I wonder what he's working on. <laughs> My God. Sweep me away Sweep me
like the sun, I feel like the rain, I feel like I just found reason for living again. Cause what I've been dreaming, I know that it's real, I know there's just no change in the way I feel. You're into my head, I'm out of my mind, I feel like I just found God has a vision for our lives. It is to be deep in relationship with those that he has created. He's our host. He's constantly inviting and prompting us into a relationship with him. He's our waiter. He emptied himself of being God in order to serve us what we need to enter into that relationship. He's an artist. He's carefully sculpted the art of life in his image, and upon it he's placed his signature. Our lives are works of art, 
And we can choose whether we see or that we don't see his fingerprints. And so the question is, when you look at your life, what do you see? This truly is his world, and we get to live in it because he is the artist.
The artist is painting as if the world depended on it. And the artist has been painting and is painting and continues to paint because the world does depend on it. A familiar passage in the scripture says, the book of John, for God so loved the world that God's love extended to everyone, to you, to me, the whole world. That he became human in the person of Jesus and died a sacrificial death on a cross and extended his life for ours so that the gap that evil and sin created could be bridged through Christ. See, God created this painting of the world that was beautiful. And he intended for us to continue to live in our innocence, but something went very wrong. The painting was destroyed when evil entered the world, and people ever since have been victimized by it and also have victimized others with it. The desire to have more than they should, the desire to be more than they are, the propensity to decide right from wrong messed everything up. But the artist continues to paint, looking to recreate a vision, to create a fresh canvas on which, in your life, he can do his masterpiece work. But you see, he won't force you. And if you reject, if, if you won't talk to him, if you won't allow him to listen, he can't paint in your life. And our prayer is that today, that perhaps some of you, for the first time, would turn your, your face, your head, your mind, and most of all, your heart towards the one who loves you most, an irrational, extravagant kind of love that comes from God the artist. Would you pray with me to that end? Our gracious God, we pray that you would give us the wisdom to see our lives for what they could be, for what you originally designed them to be. Give us the courage to lose control, to that feeling of love that stirs deep within, and to let you repaint, recreate what was lost through sin, and what you made available to us through Christ. And it's in his name and through his power that we pray. Amen.